Welcome to our Silverstripe tutorial. Today we're tackling a unique challenge that many developers encounter when building dynamic websites. Our viewer is looking to create a flexible data structure for tables on their Silverstripe site. The viewer's question revolves around building tables with varying column headers and rows across different subpages. They want to avoid the pitfalls of using a rich text editor, which can lead to mistakes and maintenance headaches. Instead, they aim to create a data object that allows for a customizable number of columns and rows, giving content managers full control without the hassle of HTML. They've considered creating separate data objects for table headers and rows, but they're struggling with how to effectively link these components together. Additionally, they face a challenge with saving field values to the database when creating them dynamically. Let's dive into their question and explore some possible solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To create a flexible table structure in Silverstripe, we will define two main data objects, table column set and table row item. This allows us to manage an arbitrary number of columns and rows. Next, we will set up the table row item data object. This will hold the values for each row and will be linked to the table column set. Each row can have multiple fields corresponding to the columns. Now, let's implement the CMS fields for both data objects. This will allow content managers to easily add and manage columns and rows without dealing with HTML directly. To ensure that the values entered in the CMS are saved correctly, we need to handle the saving process in the table row item class. This includes ensuring that all fields are properly mapped and saved to the database. Finally, we will create a template to display the table. This template will loop through the table column set and table row items to generate the HTML structure dynamically. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This user shares a PHP and HTML solution for creating table rows and columns in Silverstripe. They suggest structuring your table data in an associative array. They demonstrate how to generate HTML for a table including the header and body, while managing memory efficiently by concatenating strings. Finally, they emphasize the importance of cleaning up memory when dealing with large tables, ensuring better server performance. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.